Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back once again. Today we're going to be taking a look at two different offerings from Gavco Knives in their production variations. This is the Thresher and this is the Nurse. Now, while they are very, very different knives, they follow in the same theme. Mike really likes, uh, obviously, oceanic wildlife. He likes sharks. And it doesn't just come in the form of his names. When you really look at the details of his design work, you'll see it come through in the designs as well. So one of the things about Mike that I've always enjoyed is his sense of humor. He's a funny guy. He's a a very interesting character, and, and two things really jump out at me when I think about Mike, and it's knife making and family, and those are the two things that he finds to be the most important things in his life. So I'm very happy to see that he has progressed beyond just being a custom knife maker into making a full set of production knives as well, because, well, that's a really great way to feed your family. Now, these have been popular for quite a number of years uh, throughout the different models that he's offered and the different variations of them through his partnership with Mastrop, which then changed their name to Drop, which now is being taken over by Caviso. And I know it's very confusing, uh, but that's where it is right now. So what you're going to see on offerings like this, just like you would normally associate with Drop, Caviso has taken over that and really taken that over into the uh, the knife arena where you still get the same crazy, crazy deals on limited time drops, limited time offerings. Oh my God, what an action on that thresher. Um, so you're assured to get the best prices possible, but you have to act quickly when they're made available because they're not always just openly available. They're exclusive little runs and exclusive little offerings. So you do want to act fast whenever these do come up and available. So what you're going to see here is a small flipper and a medium-sized manual opening folder with thumb studs. There's a lot to love about each one, but I think what's probably going to attract most people to these knives, one will be their, maybe their loyalty uh, to Mike, because they've, they've watched him grow over, I'd say he's probably been a knife maker for the better part of a decade now. I know that he and I have been friends for about nine or ten years. And he's always been busting his ass, working harder, just getting better and better and better at knife making. So you're either going to be buying one of these knives because uh, you really like Mike. You like the Gavco designs. You've always wanted one of his customs, but they're really, really hard to come by. And they're not the they're not crazy expensive, but they're also not inexpensive either. Or you're just looking for an incredible value. And because of the partnership here with uh, formerly dropped now Caviso, you get that great value. You're still getting titanium frame locks. You're still getting premium steels. You're getting great actions. You're getting uh, Mike's great designs. So you're getting all that wrapped up with a pretty little bow. And that means you get to save money, but you're not cutting any corners. You're not sacrificing at all getting into the knives. Both of these knives interested me uh, quite a lot, actually. And when they were offered to me to bring out here for review, um, I was able to pick the color variation of each one of these that I wanted for myself to, to bring out here on video. And I got to tell you, they look even nicer in person. It's very hard to photograph the black one. You'll see that in a moment. Um, so obviously, I had to backlight it and everything else to really show the outline and shape of the knife. But it's very stealthy, very, very, very dark black. Uh, really, really nice job that they did on these. And then, of course, uh, I forget, I think the name of this color was Ocean. Uh, but I really loved the blue in this and the very small highlights of magenta that comes through. So no matter which color way you go with, whether you go for basic or you go for something very colorful and wild, there's going to be something here for everybody. And there's going to be a special offer attached to those of you that catch this video in time when it first debuts. There's going to be a little bit of fun stuff going on. And I'll explain that when we get down 
to the tabletop portion of this video, which honestly, we might as well just go ahead and do right now. I've got nothing else to say here on this intro, except for please like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed. It all helps the algorithm. And if you want to win cool, free shit like awesome knives, even all the way up into handmade customs, join me here on my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Jim Skelton Knives. And uh, for as little as $5 a month, you'll become automatically entered into all of the many giveaways that I do throughout the year. But that's it for all the house cleaning as far as all that goes. Let's get to the video, the meat of the video, the important part of the video, which is seeing these knives close up, learning the specs, and seeing what about these knives that I find so attractive. And here's where we begin to see these beauties up close. Now, uh, I do want to show you the packaging before we get uh, too distracted with the knives themselves. For now, they will uh, be shipping in the drop packaging. As I briefly mentioned before, there's a little bit of a transition period as drop is beginning to focus on other types of uh, retail items and not so much on knives. Uh, Caviso will be doing these knives that were typically drop knives under CavisoOutdoors.com. Uh, but for right now, they will be sitting in these, uh, probably in the very next shipment, they'll be changing from the drop packaging, not entirely too certain. So when you open up the outer box, inside will be dun, 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 a standard zippered pouch. Inside the zippered pouch will obviously be your knife. Uh, a silica gel pack, which is uh, great for chewing on. Uh, make sure you uh, chew on that as long as possible. No, don't don't eat the silica. And then you get a nice microfiber cleaning cloth. So standard fare for any decent production knives being made nowadays. Now let's take a look at the knives. Now from top to bottom, we have the thresher. And then down here is the nurse. Both of these were designed by Michael Gavick, who goes by Gavco. And he has been making each of these in full custom variations for a while. And uh, thankfully for us mere mortals that just aren't quick enough on that buy button on the occasions that he offers the customs for sale, we now have access to these as production knives. He's been offering these for a while and they've been extremely successful. So... Here's what we're going to talk about before we get into the specs. I mentioned very briefly in the intro that there was going to be a special little offer attached to these for those of you that are watching my video. I have nothing to do with any of this. Uh, I'm not in charge of the rules or how it's done. But if you go to um, the post that the Caviso is going to make about these knives, about the availability and the drop on these knives... If you go to their post and you like their post, you have to follow Caviso and I'll put everything in the description down below, but I'll try to remember to write it right here as well. Hopefully I'll see my fingers as I'm previewing this and editing and I'll remember to put that in there. Their tag on Instagram as well as Gavco Knives tag, you have to follow both and like both their posts and you'll be automatically entered to win a free thresher or free nurse. You will have your choice of which one you get to win for free. And that's pretty awesome. Now, that's I'd love to say that's something that I negotiated on your behalf, so I look like a, a superstar, but I had nothing to do with it. It was something that uh, they offered and said, hey, uh, if, if uh, somebody comes over from watching your video and they like the knives and they want to get a chance to get a free one, Tell them how to do it. So I have done that. Now, let's take a look here at the Thresher. 
Very aggressive name on a very aggressively designed knife. This is 8 inches overall with a 3.5 inch S35VN blade. It is on bearings and it is quite smooth. Very, very fast opening. Really, really like the feel of it in the hand as well. It fits my hand perfectly. Really a good size being 8 inches overall. Uh, I also really like the way that the scales are scalloped uh, on each of these sections. So it's not just a visual cue. You will actually feel each of these sections as you hold it, and they feel really, really nice. The back of the frame is also sculpted, and then you see the sculpted three-quarter length backspacer. It goes, does go all the way down around the butt securely encasing the tip. Tips and butts, that's what this channel is all about. And then you have your bent spoon style clip here on the back side. And again, I, I can't stress this enough how wonderful this action really is. I don't know if I can, yeah, I guess you can slow open it really easily. So it feels nice whether you like to do like a Sabenza opening or you want to flick the bitch open, it will do both with the greatest of ease. Now, that is your quick intro to the Thresher. Now, the quick intro into the Nurse. Now, I kind of like the Nurse a little bit more for its overall design. I like the fact that it looks a little bit more like the shark that it's named after. You've got the gills back here, uh, that kind of bullnose shape to this uh, sheep's foot style blade. It just kind of ties in really, really well with the theme overall. Now, as I mentioned, it's a smaller knife, and that's the only thing. I, I wish this was the same size as the Thresher, and it would be the perfect knife, for my hands anyway. Uh, but this is 7 inches overall versus 8 inches on the Thresher, and it has a 3-inch S35VN blade versus the 3.5-inch. But when you take out the measurement of the choil, you have a two and three quarter inch cutting edge roughly uh, once you take out the choil measurement. So for me, it's just, just a little bit too small for me to really get my hands around. But the thing is, I really, really like the look and the feel of the knife in every other respect. Now, when you go to flip it, you can light switch it, but you have to be really you have to really be paying attention to how you're engaging that flipper tab. There is no jimping on there, as you can see there, once the camera focuses. There's no jimping on there, and it's set pretty far behind the pivot. And when it's set that far behind the pivot, you do have to give it a little bit of extra oomph to get it to go to full lock. What you will find, though, is it push buttons really well. And when you push button it, it fires like a rocket, locks up nice and hard, and feels really, really good. One of the other interesting things that I found about this was if you look at the uh, the blade cut out here, notice that notch that's up here in the frame. Typically, what we would see on a notched frame is you would see big old giant thumb studs, which are actually blade stops, that will stop right in there on the frame. But that's not what that's there for. Check this out. They perfectly align with the opening in the blade notch. And I thought that was really, really cool. I just like little details like that. Um, you've got the speed holes running through the frame on the lock side and the presentation side. The holy theme is then continued on into that bent spoon style clip as well. Lock bar tension is perfect on both of these, by the way. And this will, by the way, have a steel lock bar insert that you see engaging the tang of the blade right there. So we'll put both of these out here together so you can see the dramatic differences between them. Um, while they're both unmistakably uh, Gavco designs, they're wildly different from one another, even to the, the shape of the frames, how this one comes down, how that one swoops up, the shape of the blades, the deployment method, everything is completely different. Another thing that I really liked about the uh, nurse as well is the way the frame comes up and around the pivot. It kind of guards the pivot where the pivot feels completely flat, like, like it's flush with the frame. And this is a contoured frame as well. So they actually had to cut away quite a bit of material 
to leave this ring going around the pivot. Like I said, it's there's pretty much everything about the nurse I love. I just wish it was a teeny tiny little bit larger and then it would be perfect. So I would beg Mike, please make an XL version of this available to the masses. I think it would be uh, an extraordinary success. But for somebody looking for something on the smaller side, uh, a smaller, lighter weight EDC, it's going to be fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Speaking of weight, let's go ahead and give these a weigh job. Oops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to knock the camera around. Okay, so the nurse is a shocking 3.6 ounces. Get that out of there. And the thresher is 4.7. It's definitely got a bit more weight to it than the nurse does. I still don't feel that it's outside of the realm of reality for people to EDC the Thresher. I don't really think of it as being very heavy. And really, a lot of what that's going to be is the fact that this has a full backspacer, whereas the uh, nurse is using a single standoff at the rear. So you're adding the weight of that very large titanium backspacer and, of course, the slightly larger, longer blade. It's taller. It's longer. Dimensionally, uh, there is quite a bit of difference. Blade stock, I do believe, is about the same. Yes, indeed it is. So overall, what are my thoughts on each of these individual knives? Listen, I can't be completely unbiased. Like I said, I've been friends with Mike for probably going on 10 years now, and I really think that he's a fantastic guy. Um, I, I love the fact that, you know, half of the posts that he makes on his Instagram, they're not just about knives. They're about his family. He's a very family-oriented guy. He always has been. And I know that he's offering all of these great variations, lots of colors, lots of models, uh, out there so that he can support his family and he can continue making his custom knives in the way that he chooses to make them. He's a no compromise kind of guy. He has the talent and the skill to make knives as pretty and fancy as possible, but he really likes more of that rough look, more of that antiqued look. So a lot of his customs will reflect that so he wants to be able to do things his own way without compromising, and I really respect that about him. And to come out here and review his knives and be completely unbiased, I really can't do that. What I will say is that uh, Caviso slash Drop slash whomever have done Mike's knives justice by really making these to be pretty high quality. Now, unfortunately, I don't have pricing info available for you. Um, I've tried to repeatedly reference their website, and their website is down, I guess, for maintenance right now. So I do not have the pricing info. I apologize. Uh, but that will be very easy to find once they fully launch these. Again, keep an eye on their Instagrams as well, their respective Instagrams, Caviso and also Gavco. The way I look at it is this. I like the size of the Thresher. I prefer everything else about the Nurse. And that's just me looking at the designs aesthetically and the way they flow. I was very attracted to this because of the scalloping that's been done in the handle, the way that it's been contoured. It's, it's very, very comfortable in the hand. I really like the upswept blade, almost a Persian style blade. Um, I think a lot of people are going to find a lot of uses for that. You've got almost all belly to that blade and you have a sharp piercing tip. So it is absolutely going to be a fantastic cutter. But I've always had a soft spot in my heart for sheep's foot blades and Warncliffe blades. And with the sheep's foot, you get a little bit of belly, just a teeny tiny little bit uh, over a Warncliffe. Warncliffe would be completely flat across the bottom. And the sheep's foot's just going to give you a very, very slight uh, convex shape to the edge. I really like the overall theme of the nurse. I like how the whole design flows. I could do without the holes. Not a big deal for me, with or without. But I just like the whole thing aesthetically. Um, it is going to be very lightweight, as I mentioned before, because of the single standoff design. I like the fact that the, the lock side is made to match with the presentation side. And so often, we do not see that in titanium frame locks. So you've got the whole pattern going on there. 
and you have the whole pattern repeated on the other side. Overall, the action is nice. You have to get used to push buttoning it, but other than that, the, it's nice and smooth and fast. And then uh, again, with the Thresher, it's, it is gonna be a significantly larger knife, even though when you read off the dimensions off the spec sheet, it doesn't sound like a big difference. It's one inch overall, and it's you know a half inch on the blade, but it really, really does make for a significant difference in the hand. I think for more everyday use, I think that the Thresher is probably going to be a more practical choice uh, because of the shape of the blade and because of the overall size. You're assured of getting a nice full grip on that handle. By the way, the, uh, the bent spoon style clip, I don't even feel it in there, so there's no hot spot to that. And I kind of thought there would be when I saw it in pictures. So I think for usefulness and utility, this may be the better of the two choices. I still feel that this has uh, plenty of utilitarian use to it, and I really, really love the look. I just wish you were a teeny tiny little bit bigger, and that would make me happy. Um, I do think proportionally, though, it looks really, really good. I mean, the blade almost looks like it can't even fit into that handle, yet it does beautifully, and there is no snagging whatsoever on the tip of that blade. And I'll show you the same here because you have the backspacer. There's no way to engage the tip of that blade. Nice big thumb studs on the thresher makes it very easy to engage whether you want to slow roll it or you want to flick it any way you want to go. It's going to work out very, very well. The one piece of hardware that stands out the most is probably going to be that bad boy right there. And that again is going to be holding in the steel lock bar insert that engages the lock that assures you that your lock is going to last significantly longer. It's not going to start migrating over because of soft titanium engaging hardened steel. You do have hardware for the backspacer on the lock side and the, the, the two pieces of hardware for the pocket clip. Um, it's a clean design overall. I chose the all black because there was just, I, I think it's a very sinister kind of, you know, aggressive design. So I really liked the all black. There are, you know, some nice lighter colors that are available in the Thresher. I just saw that as, man, it just looks so mean and evil, kind of, kind of crazy looking. And it kind of deserves to be in black. And there was something about the nurse that I saw in this color that really attracted me. I really like this overall look in this blue. They're calling it Ocean. Uh, it's a really beautiful blue. It's kind of a medium blurple, kind of a medium blue, almost purple. And then you have these highlights of maroon, which don't show up exceedingly well here on video, but uh, you saw that in the photography I did earlier. So that's a quick look at both of those. Whichever way you want to go, I personally feel like you've got a solid, well-built, and sturdy knife. Um, again, I think I probably see more practicality with the Thresher than I do with the Nurse. But if you have a smaller hand, the Nurse is probably going to be one of your favorite knives in your collection. Just looking at that theme, and, and the theme doesn't beat you over the head. Like, you can look at it and go, okay, those are definitely gills. I see the gills. I see the overall shape here, and I think fish or shark. I see it. I feel it. But it's not beating you over the head. It's not like they put a, you know, a big old shark's eye up here or something or did anything ridiculous. It's subtle, and it's cool, but it's very easy to see where the design inspiration came from. So, uh, my uh, congratulations to, uh, to Mike, to Gavco for having another just knockout success with a production variation of his custom knives. If you're the type that would rather have a custom version made, reach out to Mike. He's a very approachable guy, very easy to talk to. And if he has room on his books, I do not know if he does or not. Uh, it can't hurt to ask because if you own one of his customs, I'll tell you this. Um, while again, I'll say they're not cheap, but they're not expensive really for what you're getting. Every time, the rare occasion I see anybody reselling one of his customs, they're always going for more than original maker price. So his knives have held their value very well over the years, and uh, I think that speaks volumes to the quality of knives that Mike makes. With that, guys, I'm out of here for now. Thank you guys for joining me once again, and I'll see you on the next video.